I think you need a new scoot, driver. Scoot it over. So this is the 2014 Yamaha golf cart, 14 or above. Uh, Vegas Carts does not make a swing arm kit for this, so we are going to be building our own to put the Duromax 713cc engine on it. We bought this from a company that makes aluminum roll cages for these. It was just freshly stretched. They put wheels and tires on it, the lift kit, and the wheels and tires do have a lot of overspray from where they painted the frame after lifting. The company that was doing this decided not to go with this Yamaha chassis because all their other ones was club cars and they didn't want one mud golf cart after they spent all this money stretching it. So we bought this for $500 with a locked up engine, just like you see it. No other parts came with it, no seats, no row cage. So we're gonna build a steel row cage on it. We're gonna do some little step bars, front bumper, and we're gonna put uh, that Duramax 713cc V twin, which will triple the horsepower of this original engine. So it should be plenty strong enough to ride six or eight people around. We've got some rock lights from off-road LED bars we're gonna be putting on it. I think some acetone will take the overspray off the wheels. You can see they didn't mask them up or nothing when they painted, but the tires look brand new on it. So uh, it's gonna be a pretty sweet golf cart. It has double AR front suspension, the semi-independent suspension in the rear with the pan hard water. So all we have to do is pull this old locked up Yamaha engine on. But uh, thanks, this will be a good project to uh, you know, haul too many people around on. So we'll flip. We'll and probably flip it. We'll flip it. <laughs> so we're gonna pull all these plastic, the plastic off the rear, get this Yamaha engine out, and start modifying. Yeah. That was quick. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the muffler's pretty rusted on. We're just gonna cut it off. Oh yeah, that thing's heavy. There's 30 pounds taken off right there. You're broke. <laughs> Who will guess? You smell how bad that gas is varnished? Oh yeah. Ho! Oh! Look at that, look at that. That is Rusted gone. So close, there we go. There it is. So this engine was fuel injection. So that's pretty sweet. Um, but she's locked up, so it's not sweet. It's destroyed. But we can keep the wiring harness, fuel injector, and things like that, and we could fuel injection a 440 Duro Max with the fuel injection off this setup. That'd be dope, because we have the ECM and full wiring harness. I mean, we did snap off the fuel line to the injector right the, right off of it uh, <laughs> but that means i could just buy an injector for this uh we need to keep everything off this so that we can every sensor so we can box it up and try to keep up with it leba there's your problem <laughs> <laughs> it like pulled out and there's water all the way to the top of the block so that was the problem and it was like that when we got this i'm gonna start yelling at us so this has a lot of you don't cover nothing <laughs> So we need to keep that throttle body. What is that? We have leaves and <laughs> Yeah, it was bad. Jeez, oh my God. Mr. You're really Heavier rough. than that looks? Heavier than that B20, I think. Really? Yeah, well, it's got that starter generator. And it's got the torque converter. Pull yes. That's a That's a big <laughs> that one's there pretty is. sweet little engine. Yeah, so we have a fuel injection. I mean, it only made nine horsepower, but we have a full throttle body that's super tiny. That's the only bad thing. And super dirty. But and it looks like rusty. should be a throttle position sensor. Or maybe, yeah, so throttle position sensor. Here's the injector, a little injector plug. And then we got a signal wire that goes down to the flywheel. And the coil is back here because this is a CDI style ignition. You just have a, a pickup, a pretty much a sensor that goes past the magnet on the flywheel, tells the CDI when to fire this. So this engine should be able to change timing. It's been out in the weather. When we got it, it had been out in the weather for like a year. Look at that. I don't know what happened with this thing. <laughs> but maybe they was like, hey, submarine golf cart did. That she came, so that must be a, sense, a temperature sensor. So this will all be really easy to put on a Duramax. 
this is in the head and this is still an air cooled engine so what we can do is TIG weld a that's probably just a standard MPT threads no it's a straight thread but we can TIG weld a solid chunk of aluminum on a Duramax to drill it and tap it to put this back in it so that's gonna be pretty sweet the magneto is right there and it looks pretty rough we need to buy any parts. There's nothing that doesn't look rough on this thing. Oh, is that a spider crawling? <laughs> it's lived in there for years. He's like, good gosh. <laughs> Ronnie, I told you I'd have your rent by the end of the month. There it is. I'll back that was heavy. Yeah, that's where most of the weight came from. Oh, yeah. Okay, you can set it over there next to the shelf. Reason. Oh, my gosh. That's so gross. Oh, so this is a oil, like a level top deal. It's just filled. That's just like water. water yeah. That's pure water. Look at the sludge. Okay. See it? Oh, yeah. How much does this thing hold? <laughs> Ready for what? My eardrums bust out? Look how tilted this swing arm is. That is no bueno on an engine. Uh, that's for sure. Because that's just going to make oil. Well, it really doesn't matter if you're dumping water into it anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and remove this whole ECM, ECU, whatever you wanna call it, wiring harness off because I wanna really keep it together and clean it up, find out what we're missing. Excuse me. These two? Uh, off under here. Yeah, go ahead and take those off. Very nice. So we're gonna run all new cables on this, like kill switch, everything. Uh, because I want to keep all this stuff together. The only thing we're going to keep on this is a fuel hand. It has a, a digital fuel hand on it. So that would be super sweet. Okay. And the reason we never did this before people was asking about this. It wouldn't fit in our garage. We could not fit this in there. But now we can. Oh, God. Look at that lead pop. Woo! Where? Yeah. Ooh. Grab a shot back. So we've had parts for this thing for quite a while. Up here, we have some fender flares. We got a brand new set of LED headlights and taillights that are smoked. So an old part we didn't use off the 670 is this nice big oil cooler. We're gonna use that on that Duro Max engine uh, because golf carts don't have a ton of airspace. We also have a brand new exhaust muffler we're gonna have to build a header and i do have some stainless uh, that i can tig weld up a nice header and these are my favorite mufflers off of amazon i've been using them on so maybe we'll do duels out the back would duels be cool mm -hmm. so don't drop it it's expensive probably gonna be upgrading to a, a flat slide card and putting the performance 670 a carburetor adapter on there. The links to all these parts will be in the video's description. So make sure to check them out, support the channel, and uh, give us some love, baby. So I've been collecting pulleys for a while, and this is a 780 driver from Go Power Sports. If you're running a built 420 or a V twin, this is the pulley you're going to want to go with. Uh, since we already have a pulley on our diff, we don't have to mess with that. And there she is. This is a true comment 780 Go Power Sports sells these pulleys. Like I said, if you're using big power, you want a big pulley. Have a huge wide belt, and we should be able to use that factory Yamaha belt as long as it'll reach. If not, we can get another one from Go Power Sports that'll do what we need to do. Let's get to fabricating. We're gonna be pulling off the stock carburetor off this Duramax and slapping on one of Performance 670 billet Macuni adapters and a 34 millimeter flat slide card. This is gonna give us a better throttle feel and more purse purrs. Babe. 
When using the Performance 670 Makuni kit, it'll come with a block off plug for this fifth threaded hole in the intake manifold. I have misplaced mine, so I'm going to be using RTV to make sure we don't have any air escaping or have a vacuum leak. way too wide on a scrimp. So what he's gonna have to do is maybe not if you cut the tacks and bring this just like slide that that way. Oh yeah. Okay. It's too wide. <laughs> I get you. I got you. Instead of done tubing because of the swooping bends I'm gonna lose so much area. Uh, I'm gonna do it out one inch square tubing do 45 degree cuts and weld them together like that and punch this bee in the face. So we had a pretty productive day. We got everything done with the engine. Nothing's fully welded because we don't want to weld nothing until we see how everything's uh, going to work. So we need to put, they put some huge springs on the back of this. So we're going to get a bunch of people on here, make sure the engine has clearance and don't hit anything. We don't have the right belt. We're going to have to get Go Power Sports to order us up a belt. Uh, they can get you any Comet belt. So if you're ever in the need of a weird size, uh, call them up. They'll tell you what to measure and they can get you a custom belt. But links to everything we use in this video are in the links in the description. Also, we're not using that starter generator that was factored on here because they're so huge and bulky and add so much weight. So we're gonna be putting a uh, Performance 670 alternator kit on this engine, and we're gonna be making a video showing you how to install it. Because there are a few things you gotta adapt on this engine to make it work, because there's a few pieces of guards and stuff in the way. But uh, the next video you're gonna see, we're gonna start building the row cage on it. Uh, it's probably going to be a pretty simple row cage and hook where the factory one did, but it'll be our 14 gauge steel because it's not really a row cage, it's just a top. And then we're going to get a company up the road to do a bimini top on it. So, and then we can get to wiring it. Then, the, like I said, we got rock lights going on it from off road LED bars. We have uh, new LED headlights and taillights. We're going to paint these wheels black again. Uh, I think that's what they've done is tried to paint them black and it just didn't hold. But. Uh, and stay tuned on a later we're going to start like dissecting that fuel injection kit and see if we can slap it on our stage 4 440 i think that'd be pretty sweet i do know we we're going to need a bigger throttle body because the one that was on this factory engine was pretty tiny but let us know what you think about this uh huge golf cart it's going to be a pretty cool vehicle we got all the plastics just sitting back on it so we can get uh, we got fender flares and everything going on so stay tuned and make sure to check out those links because they do help us to continue to do these videos but uh, thank you guys for watching. We love you and God bless.